Well, this was a survey of how clinicians interpret genomic assays in the real world. Uh, we've all gotten used to ordering tests like the recurrence score, the Oncotype DX21 gene recurrence score, and some of the other genomic assays that are used in ER positive early stage breast cancer. And so one of the questions that this survey asked was, how do interested clinicians use that information and integrate it with standard pathological features of the breast cancer and make it kind of work in clinic? And what was interesting was that there was a rather predictable finding, which is that oncologists are very comfortable using these tests and they are very adept at using them in context of the other features of the tumor and the patient who they're talking with. So as the patient gets older and um, where the benefits of chemotherapy might be less pronounced anyway, they lean less heavily on the test and conversely in situations where there's a lot of uncertainty about the role of chemotherapy, they lean a lot on the test and it's a very robust assay. So I think that this um, survey really kind of validated the real-world sense that we can use these tests reliably and that's important because we're entering an era when there's gonna be all kinds of genomic information pouring forward whether it's tumor sequencing or hereditary DNA testing or measures of targeted antigens and this is something that oncologists didn't necessarily train to do when they came out of medical school and residency and fellowship but which they've had to learn as the years have gone by and it's gratifying to see that they can pick up that information.